Four children have been found alive more than a month after their plane crashed in Colombia's Amazon jungle. The siblings, aged between 1 and 13, were on board the plane with their mother and two pilots who died. Simon Jones has this report. Airlifted to safety from the jungle after a story of survival against the odds. These pictures, released by the Colombian president, were the first confirmation that the four rescued children wrapped in foil blankets were alive. They were found by the military after a huge and long search. The children forced to fend for themselves for more than five weeks. Together, the military forces and the indigenous communities that helped with the search efforts found the children after 40 days. They were on their own. They are an example of survival that will go down in history. Today, those children are the children of peace and the children of Colombia. Hundreds of soldiers had been involved in the desperate hunt for the children, aged 13, 9, 4 and 1. A recorded message was played from the air, instructing them, if they heard it, to stay still and wait for help. They had been missing since the start of May, when the plane they were in crashed. The bodies of the children's mother, the pilot and the co-pilot were found. But there was hope the children were still alive after items left behind by them, including a drinking bottle and half-eaten fruit, were found. The children belong to the Wee Toto indigenous group. It's thought their knowledge of fruits and jungle survival skills helped keep them safe. Their family can scarcely believe this moment has come. We are happy because until now we couldn't sleep, couldn't be happy, couldn't talk. For us, the situation was like being in the dark, living for the sake of living, because the hope of finding them kept us alive. When we found the children, we felt joy. We don't know what to do, but we are grateful to God. The children have been flown to the capital, Bogota, for a full medical assessment. They are weak, they are tired but their rescuers are calling this a magical day. Simon Jones, BBC News. And that is a remarkable story, isn't it? Unbelievable. I mean, very sad loss, obviously, because they lost their mother and the two pilots as well, but uh, in, what, a month? And a, from 13 yeah, to one-year-old. Amazing.